Welcome learners, I am Dr. Ankita Devnath and in this video we will learn about heritage hotels of the world. The objective of this video is to acquaint you with the various heritage hotel associations in the world, some very iconic properties of heritage hotels across the globe. Across the globe, we have magnificent historic hotels with a story to tell. These historic properties range from fort, palaces, mansions and whole hotels that have witnessed many historic moments of the world. They have been built in architectural grandeur of those times and carefully preserved the heritage of yester's years to be presented and experienced for the guest today. In this video, we will learn about major heritage hotel and hotel chains of the world. Unlike India, no country in the world has a very definite classification specific to heritage hotels. So, we will move forward and learn about hotels which are not classified as heritage hotels under any category but are historic in all terms. They have either been functioning for a very long time or have been operated in historic buildings which were earlier royal residences or buildings. In most of the cases, we will not be taking individual hotels as there are many heritage hotels across the globe but we will learn about major associations, chains or organizations wherever we could find related to heritage hotels. After the end of this unit, you will be aware of the various kind of heritage properties and the unique experiences they offer across the various continents. So let us start. We will start with the continent of North America. In USA, there are many historic hotels that have been operating from a very long time. United States of America does not have any different classification for heritage hotels. National Trust for Historic Preservation is a privately funded non-profit organization that is working to save America's historic sites and to tell the full American story, build stronger communities and invest in preservation of future. Historic Hotels of America is the official program of the National Trust for Historic Preservation for recognizing and celebrating the finest historic hotels in America. The Historic Hotels of America was founded in 1989 by National Trust for Historic Preservation with 35 charter members. As of 2020, Historic Hotels of America has more than 300 historic hotels. These historic hotels have all faithfully maintained their authenticity, sense of place and architectural integrity in the United States of America. Member hotels are located in the 44 states, the District of Columbia, Puerto Rico and the US Virgin Island members. The Association Historic Hotels of America is comprised of mostly independently owned and operated historic hotels. More than 30 of the world's finest hospitality brands, chains and collections are represented in Historic Hotels of America. To be nominated and selected for membership into this prestigious program, a hotel must be at least 50 years old has been designated by the U.S. Secretary of the Interior as a National Historic Landmark or listed in or eligible for listing in the National Register for Historic Places and recognized as having historic significance. The National Historic Preservation Act of 1966 in USA established the National Register for Historic Places for recognizing district sites, buildings, structures and objects worthy of preservation and the properties listed under this act or this register can apply for historic hotels of America. Travelers can now discover over 23 historic hotels designated by the U.S. Secretary of the Interior as National Historic Landmarks and experience more than 126 historic hotels listed in the National Register of Historic Places. Members of Historic Hotel of America represent the heritage and development of America. 
one of the earliest hotels, Hotel El Convento in Old San Juan, Puerto Rico, is a former Carmelite convent dating to 1651. Another Concord's colonial in dates to 1716. During the Revolutionary War, one of the inn's original buildings even stored arms and provisions for the Concord Minutemen. Another example is the Omni Homestead Resort in Hot Springs, Virginia, known as America's first resort. The homestead has been welcoming guests since 1766. Hotels are situated in various settings that range from rusting to refined. In locations as diverse as the mountain wilderness, manicured country, three sides, the hotels under Historic Hotels of America are situated in various settings that range from rustic to refined. In locals as diverse as mountain wilderness, manicured country sites, the center of small towns, and bustling metropolises. From opulent mansions to converted factories, each fascinating place has been inducted into this distinguished program based upon noteworthy standards including quality of accommodation, historic significance, listed in or eligible to be listed in the National Register of Historic Places and Buildings. Hotels also range in size from the Five Suite Greyfield Inn to the City Center Palmer House Hilton in Chicago with 1600 rooms. Now, moving to the continent of Europe, the first historic hotels or heritage hotels that we will discuss are Paradoras in Spain. The heritage hotels in Spain or other Spanish-speaking countries are called Parador. Parar means to stop, halt or stay. These are kind of luxury hotels usually located in a converted historic building such as a monastery or a castle or in modern buildings with a panoramic view of a historic and monumental city. In Spain, Paradores de Turismo de España is a chain of Spanish luxury hotels. It was founded by Alfonso XIII as a means to promote tourism in Spain. The origin of Paradores goes back to 1910 when the Spanish government decided to create a hotel infrastructure which was non-existent at that time in Spain to provide lodging to hikers and travelers also improve the international image of Spain. The first hotel started operation in 1928 in Gerdos. It is a state-run business and has been both profitable and successful in promoting tourism in Spain. The hotels are often located in adapted castles, palaces, fortresses, convents, monasteries and other historic buildings. Along with providing the basic accommodation for tourists, they add to the attraction of heritage tourism and provide use for large historic buildings. In Spain, as the state maintains the building, Paradoras are located in areas where it is not in competition with private sector and many are in smaller medieval towns and villages. For the Hostel de los Reyes Costalicos in Santiago de Compostela is considered to be one of the oldest continuously operating hotels in the world and one of the finest Spanish Paradoras. Parador hotels are divided into three broad categories. The first category is Paradores Essentia, which are monumental and historic hotels through which one can learn about Spanish history and culture. They are placed in legendary places and are considered authentic art pieces. Some examples are Parador de Avilia or Parador de Oropesa. The second category is Paradores Sevilla. These are urban hotels which are located in the city. These are close to main attractions of a tourist destination such as a museum or main city spots. Some examples of these hotels are Parador de Ferrol or Parador de Melilla. The third category is Paradores Naturia. The third category is Paradores Naturia, which are hotels immersed in nature. Be it mountains, rivers, sea views, etc. The tourists have the chance to relax and enjoy the charm of the environment. Parador de Besa, Parador de Mazagón are some of the most impressive 
hotels in this category. The Paradors are known for their highest level of service at a reasonable price. In fact, attention to the details and offering the best quality have become hallmark of this enterprise. Along with offering various recreational facilities and activities like spa, golf, wedding arrangements, business event, etc., Paradores restaurant offer the best traditional cuisine with high quality products of the native region. Paradores restaurant are classified into three different categories. The first category is special restaurants, which are classical style restaurants with traditional menus with a gourmet touch. Tamizia restaurants are multi-use spaces where one can try the latest trends in Spanish gastronomy. And the third category is Marmitia restaurants which offer the best local products and traditional dishes. Staying in a Spanish Paradore is an experience itself and has become an integral part of the Spanish experience. Now, further in Europe, we also have an organization known as Historic Hotels of Europe which is an umbrella organization established to promote like-minded independent hotel associations throughout Europe. It is a gold standard prestigious network representing the finest hotels operating in historic buildings across 13 countries. It is a group of 400 properties under 11 member groups representing high quality luxury hotels each with their unique story to tell. The organization was created with the objective of promoting global awareness of culture, traditions, history, heritage and architecture. The group showcases properties as diverse as they are culturally and historically important. The Historic Hotels of Europe was established in 1997. The original concept for forming a federation with association representing historic hotels, castles, manors and restaurants within Europe was initiated by Chateau and Hotels de France of France and Scholz Hotels and Herrenhauser of Austria. The federation to advocate a more cultural and historic style of holiday was established in November 1997 with eight associations from different countries forming this federation. So Historic Hotels of Europe is basically a group of different associations of historic hotels from different countries of Europe. The first formal meeting of the European Federation of Traditional Accommodation and Historic Houses was held in Spain and hosted by the Estancia de Espafia in 1998. The Federation was renamed Historic Hotels of Europe in 2003. By 2016, its membership had been extended to include 13 associations in 22 countries. All the member associations are independent associations and not part of any hotel chain. The association must have a structure that involves stringent membership criteria admitting properties with a high standard of traditional hospitality, elegant accommodation and fine cuisine. The buildings should also be historical or architectural interest. The historic hotels of Europe with its network encompasses almost 500 properties as of 2020. The hotel properties are in Austria, Belgium, Czech Republic, Croatia, Estonia, France, Germany, Greece, Ireland, Italy, Latvia, Montenegro, Netherlands, Norway, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Slovakia, Slovenia, Sweden, Switzerland and Wales. Since the first journal meeting, journal assemblies are held twice a year and the board of directors meet whenever it is necessary for the development of the federation. The meetings take place all over Europe and are always hosted by one of the member associations. Another famous hotel chain of historic hotels in France is Relais and Chateau. It is an association of individually owned and operated luxury hotels and restaurants. The group is known for its strict admission standards. In addition to luxurious facilities, member hotels must have special feature distinguishing them 
from other chain hotels. Most of the hotels are historic landmarks such as castles, manor houses or townhouses in an idyllic setting. Relay in Shito began in 1954 with eight individual properties in France. From Paris to Nice, Marcel and Nelly Tillot, a couple of music hall artists who owned La Cardinale, a hotel and restaurant on the right bank of Rhone, came up with the idea of advertising eight properties under the slogan La Rue du Bonheur. The group currently in 2020 has about 569 member hotel properties in 66 countries on five continents. Predominantly represented in Europe, the association is now growing in North America, Asia and Africa. All the member hotels share the value of top quality amenities, outstanding fine dining and their own particular ideas about the art of living. Along with being a place of stay, hotels under this association are known for their restaurants which serve some exquisite hotte cuisine. All Relay and Chateau properties are one in kind and have their own distinct style of service which is influenced by the owner of the property. Instead of any kind of standardized service, these properties provide unique experience to the guest. Each hotel property is considered to be masons or more strictly speaking grand masons. The service style of the property is influenced by the personality and the vision of Maitre de Maison, which is the essence of unique experience of each property under this group of hotels. Now, from the continent of Europe, let's move towards the continent of South America. Here also unlike India there is no government level heritage hotel classification also no major association of federations dedicated to heritage hotels has been found we will discuss some very iconic landmark heritage hotels of countries in south america which represent a tip of the many heritage hotels found in this continent these host hotels are testimony to the rich history of this region The first hotel we will discuss about is Belmont Hotel Monasterio in Peru. This is a 5 star heritage property in Cusco. The hotel has been constructed within a restored monastery. The structure dates back to 1592. It was built on the foundation of the palace of the Sapa Inca Tupac Amaru. The hotel's decor reflects Spanish colonial design with a Baroque church. The former chapel consists of old paintings and gold-plated frame. In the center of the hotel, there is a courtyard that holds a fountain and a old cedar tree that is around 300 years old. The hotel includes Peruvian-style restaurants. The Heritage Hotel is considered a historic monument and is protected by the National Institute of Culture of Peru. The next hotel is Hotel Casa do Amarillo in Brazil. This property is located in Salvador and it dates back to Brazil's colonization era. It is nestled in a fully restored 19th century building in the heart of historical district of Salvador. It is classified as UNESCO World Cultural Heritage in 1985. It is famous for its colorful houses, beautiful baroque churches, museums and typically stone paved alleys. The decoration is inspired by the Bahia colonial culture with a touch of African influence which is so characteristic of the history of Salvador. The next hotel is the Alvia Palace Hotel. which is situated in the most elegant neighborhood of Buenos Aires in Argentina. The hotel was built by Buenos Aires businessman Dr. Rafael De Miro who had been to Paris in the early 1920s and wanted to bring some of the belle époque grandeur to this then flourishing hometown. He brought and demolished a large house on the corner of Avenida Elvia and Ayocho in 1922 and after a decade long project the fi hotel finally opened in 
the majestic rooms and suites as well as the lobby and public areas are reminiscent of the Louis XV and Louis XVI styles which are evident in the furniture, the crystal chandeliers, walls decorated with gold leaf and works of art of famous artists. The 11th floor luxurious building with five basement levels stand as an undisputed symbol of the city. It is highly committed to improving the social, economic and environmental condition of the society which the hotel is part of. The last hotel we talk about from South America is Sofitel Legend Santa Clara in Cartagena, Colombia. It is a legendary landmark in the heart of Cartagena's wall city that has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The building was built in 1621 a convent that housed the poor clares before they were evicted in 1861. For over a century, this place witnessed history and served successfully as a charity hospital, prison and a medical school, therefore generating a series of Republican style changes. In 1995, it became the iconic Santa Clara Hotel. The hotel offers a mix of colonial and republican style architecture with modern comfort. The hotel features gourmet cuisine, exceptional service, a world-class spa, meeting facility and state-of-the-art technology. Now let us move to the continent of Australia. In Australia, there is the Commonwealth Heritage List which is a heritage register established in 2003 which lists places under the control of the Australian government on land or in water directly owned by the Commonwealth of Australia. Such places must have importance in relation to the natural or historic heritage of Australia, including those cult of cultural significance to indigenous Australians. A heritage register is an inventory of cultural properties, natural and man-made tangible and intangible, movable and immovable that are deemed to be of sufficient heritage value to separately identified and recorded. Each state in Australia has its own heritage register and in these heritage registers there are certain hotels that have been included as heritage listed hotels. There are many hotels across Australia that have been listed as heritage hotels exhibiting and conserving the heritage of Australia. From Australia, moving to the continent of Africa. Here also there is no standard hotel classification for heritage hotels. But the continent has many magnificent heritage properties. We will learn about some heritage properties from Africa. The first one is Cape Heritage Hotel in South Africa. It is a very unique property in the capital of South Africa, Cape Town. The hotel is a part of Restored Heritage Square, which dates back to the 18th century. The central courtyard is shaded by South Africa's oldest known fruit-bearing grapevine, which was planted in 1781. Archival research shows that most of the original building was used for commercial reasons. Many businesses like tobacconists, snuff makers, gunsmiths, bakers, coach makers and wheelwrights prospered here. Today, the Cape Heritage Hotel offers all modern comforts but retains its old world charm and character. The hotel offers 17 bedrooms, each one individually appointed to enhance its unique historical character. The next hotel is El Minja. It is one of the few five-star establishments in the city of Tangiers in Morocco. It was built at the command of John Crichton Stuart. He was the fourth Marquess of Wood, a British aristocrat with extensive interest in the international zone. The hotel was constructed in pure Hispano-Moorish style and it is true to the architectural heritage of Morocco, while embodying all the comfort of an English club. It started its operation in 1930. The next hotel is the Victorian Falls Hotel in Zimbabwe, which was built by the British in 1904 and was originally used as accommodation for workers on the Cape to Cario Railway. 
and today it is the famous luxury brand and a member of the leading hotels of the world. Victoria Falls Hotel was built and operated by the railway administration. But in the early 1970s, it was leased to then Southern Sum Hotel Group, forerunner of today's African Sun Limited. The Victoria Falls Hotel remains the landmark accommodation facility to view the popular tourist attraction, the wondrous Victoria Falls. These were the hotels that we will talk about in the continent of Africa. This was a brief information about the heritage hotels of the world from the many that we have across the globe. So let us sum up now. In this unit, we have learned about the heritage hotels across the globe which are treasure houses of heritage and are providing a very unique accommodation experience to the tourist. Though there is no heritage classification for hotels in other countries like India, but all the countries have heritage or historic hotels which are either independently owned or are part of a hotel chain. We have also discussed about some associations and organizations that are working towards promoting heritage tourism and conserving the heritage of their countries through these hotels and have high standard of service. All the hotels that we have discussed in this video have been awarded many prestigious prizes globally and are working towards sustainable tourism practices.